Hello friends, welcome to my channel, my Silver Example Curve. In this video, we will see how to use the regular expression in testng XML file. Now see, here we have program one dot Java. Here we have class program one, and here there are two test cases. One is for admission login, and another is for admission broken links. Now see, we have another uh, file or another program, program two dot Java. It has class program two. And there are four test cases. Here you can see placement login, placement broken links, then faculty login and faculty broken links. Likewise, there are four test cases. First two test cases are related to the placement, and another two test cases are related to the faculty. Now see, here we have test in the XML file. Here we have created Two models. See, this is one model, and this is regarding admission, and we have another model. This, and it is about placement and faculty because we have combined placement and faculty test cases in one program only. Now, see, suppose I want to exclude this faculty login test case. So, how we can exclude? So that we have seen in previous video. So we can use the exclude tag, and here we can mention faculty login. That name we can mention. Now see, suppose I want to exclude another test case also. Suppose so here I am mentioning like this, and we'll skip. Suppose we want to exclude this test case, faculty broken link. So see, so here, okay. So see what we have done. We are excluding faculty login and faculty broken links. These two test cases from this model. Now see, we will run. Let us see. So see, there is no faculty login and there is no faculty broken links because accordingly we are printing that message. So uh, result from that test cases we are not getting here. Now see, there is one similar thing among the test cases. All the test cases start with the faculty that you can see. All the test cases start with the faculty because they are related to the faculty. Now, say there is one common practice: if any test cases are related to the same module, so we put that module name in that uh, method name or function name. So that's why we have written like this: faculty login, faculty broken links, because all they are related to the faculty. Now, see, we can suppose see, uh, there are suppose there are fifty test cases which are based on this faculty module, and we want to exclude all. So in that case, what we have to do? We have to write this exclude statement fifty times, right? Fifty times we will mention exclude name, faculty login, exclude name, faculty broken list. Likewise, fifty times we we have to write the statement. But instead of that, what we can do? We have regular expression, and we can take help of regular expression. So see what we can do? We can write like this: faculty dot star or asterisk faculty dot star. So by this. All these test cases we started with this faculty name will be skipped. Now see, I am removing this. Now see, again we will run this code. So see, there is no faculty login, there is no faculty broken link, right? All are skipped. So in this way, writing this exclude statement number of times instead of that. In a single statement, we can do this by using this regular expression. So, see, all the test cases are method name. They are starting from the faculty. So, what we have done? Faculty dot star means whatever the methods name we started with this name will get skipped. So, in this way, we can use the regular expression in test ng XML file. So, friends, I hope you like this video. If you are doing, click a like, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video. So, stay connected. Thank you.